So this is a brief introduction of me, who is going to be doing some tutorial videos to help out in Mr. Swain's AP Physics class. My name is Todd Baker. Many of you know me as Adam's dad. You can just call me the physicist. I'll explain that in a minute. Or that guy who's helping Mr. Swain. The reason you can call me the physicist is because I have a website called askthephysicist.com. And uh, that's where I do a lot of physics these days since I am currently retired. I taught for 32 years at the University of Georgia in the physics department. And uh, if you go to the website that you see right now and uh, click on the physicist menu, you can find out all sorts of things about my career. As you can see, I've taught at a couple of uh, small colleges. I've taught uh, at the University of Georgia. I have taught um, at uh, University of Michigan and uh, Miami University, where I taught as graduate teaching assistant. And uh, I've had active research program in nuclear physics. And uh, if you go to this particular web page, you can find out all about me. And I think you'll see that I am qualified to, uh, to give you some tutorials, which I hope will be helpful. Here's a picture of the home page of my website, which I invite you to visit. However, I want to point out, let's see here, I can use this little gizmo to point out uh, something. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I do not answer homework questions or do tutoring. Many of the sites which advertise on this site over here do. So, I'm not inviting you to come and ask me questions that are your homework questions, but when we have the YouTube videos, you'll have an opportunity to uh, input responses, and you can ask me questions there, and uh, I'll see what I can do about answering them. Okay, so that's me, and we won't dwell any more on me. Let's go and start doing physics. And uh, you all have uh, already been a few months into this course, and you've already done kinematics. So I'm not going to uh, do any kinematics tutorials. I'm going to start off by talking about Newton's laws and doing some examples of Newton's laws and give you some, I hope, helpful tips on how to solve Newton's law problems. And uh, I'll try to sort of supplement uh, some of the things in your text by giving little personal perspectives on my own views of what these things mean and a uh, little historical background and uh, philosophical implications and stuff like that. So I'm not just going to crank out problems. I'm going to try to give you an overview. That's sort of my view of what this should be all about. Okay. I hope it helps you. 